Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Zyto Wellness Webinar. Uh, my name is Jeff Crabb, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Zyto. Uh, and I'm here with uh, Kate Twitty. Hi, I'm one of our marketing coordinators here at Zyto. I work a lot with our email campaigns, our social media, and currently I'm working to provide more resources to our customers to give them the best uh, experience as possible. Cade's joined our team recently uh, in October. He's a super valuable team member. Um, I am responsible for all marketing globally, and so we have a, a large marketing team here at Zyto that provides uh, content, it provides all of the graphical support, as well as web support uh, here at Zyto. And what's really important to us, and over the last year, we've, we've really um, hunkered down and tried to improve the experience for our customers. Um, obviously, that's a key component of marketing, and so we're always looking for valuable feedback and making sure that we're providing the best resources and experiences possible for you, our users. And uh, really, that's a key cornerstone of our business. Cade brings a lot of experience into that. Um, a little bit of, of my background, um, I've been in marketing for almost 15 years. Um, I started into marketing doing a lot of digital online marketing. Uh, and that was, at the time, it was relatively new in the sense that uh, a lot of people hadn't really fine-tuned that type of, of, of marketing. And so there was a lot of unexplored areas and opportunities of, of the online digital space of marketing. And so uh, my first job, I actually studied uh, marketing at college. My first job out of college was um, working directly with that, that type of marketing. Uh, I worked in the hotel industry space and, and it was a very competitive space and I learned a lot of uh, key components about how to message very clearly to not only increase lead gen uh, but to fill room spaces and, and in the industry they used to call this put heads in beds is what it was called and so that was our ultimate goal and, and really I've, I've been able to leverage throughout my career a lot of the experiences that I learned through digital marketing um, and I've you know, I've also had more experience as of late um, uh, with more traditional uh, avenues of marketing, which would be things like print and radio and television and things like that. Um, and then obviously here at Zyto, I've been here at Zyto for about four years now, and it's been a great opportunity for me to learn and improve a lot of the, fine tune these skills that I've had over the past um, several years and uh, really, People like Cade have, have come on into our team and really allowed me to learn even more about how to uh, consider information in a different light. Tell us a little bit about what, you, what your, some of your experiences are, Cade. So prior to coming to Zyto, a lot of my background was in sales and customer service. Um, I developed a, a love for working with people. Um, I recently transitioned into the marketing space uh, as I went through uh, going to school and, and getting my degree. Uh, starting here at Zyto uh, in, the, in the marketing department, um, I quickly became passionate for our, for our customer base and I hope to, to be able to provide uh, more tools to our customers to maximize um, their use of the software. I feel like in our customer base, a lot of times we have customers that uh, don't necessarily know all of the tools that we have available totally, to them. Yeah. And uh, I hope that as going through this uh, presentation that we'll be able to let you know about some of the things that you may have not considered and hopefully be able to grow your business and uh, grow your knowledge of, of Zydo totally. and, our, and our software. Yeah, I, I think this is a, a real, I mean, uh, Maybe all the points of today's wellness webinar won't be necessarily applicable to you, but you're gonna find a few golden nuggets throughout this presentation that we hope you take, and, and really we have some assignments, some homework tasks that we've uh, put together for you that we feel will be super valuable for you. Cade's been awesome at helping this, but behind us, we also have a whole marketing team and really a whole company that's committed to making sure that you're successful at putting together and leveraging the Zyto technology like, like Cade was talking about. And, and really, the wellness webinar is a huge component of this. Um, the Zyto wellness webinars are intended to provide useful information for health professionals and enthusiasts. Uh, it's to also share unique perspectives from experts on a variety of wellness topics, in this case, marketing, right? <laughs> but um, this, is a, this is a key component of what we're trying to create. 
As part of our wellness webinar series, we hope to give you the opportunity to hear from experts and learn how they utilize their Zyto software and their tools and tips that uh, could provide you opportunities for success. We started these uh, wellness webinars almost two years ago. Uh, they've been wildly successful. We've had a lot of great uh, speakers and presenters. There's a tremendous amount of content that's been created um, off of these uh, events. And we hope that if you haven't had the opportunity to hear um, all these different web webinars, uh, go to zyto.com forward slash wellness hyphen webinars. And that's a great place to, to go back and rewatch some of those great episodes that we've had with people. Zyto technology is used by a lot of different types of people. So, um, so probably the first thing that we hear from a lot of different um, users is they feel isolated. They feel like their approach is the only time that, that we've seen or heard um, Zyto technology being used in a certain fashion. But really, Zyto is being used globally. Um, we have a whole suite of products that caters to a whole uh, variety of different people. Anywhere from a, a, a business builder um, all the way up to the highest doctor uh, possible. And even to the point where people like, I, I, I'm speaking for myself here, but I'm sure Kate as well, but I use Zyto technology personally in my family. And so you have people that will, will use Zyto in their family situation and professional situations. And it's, so don't feel isolated. We have a lot of experience and a lot of users that use the technology kind of all over the place. And so really we have different products that depending on how you want to use Zyto will fit um, into what you want to accomplish the best way possible. Absolutely. So in our webinar today, we hope to provide you with tools that will help you to grow your business and use your Zyto software. When we were considering uh, how we could purvey that to you, uh, we created a list of eight tips that we feel uh, strongly will, will really help you and provide you with uh, additional benefits. And I will say probably the first, the biggest thing that we hear is people see the value in the technology. They get it. They appreciate it. Right. But the very first thing that they ask is, great, how do I, how do I, how do I sell this or market this yep. to people? And that's really what, Kay, and I think you're mentioning is, you know, we... I want to convey this enthusiasm that I feel for the technology to, to someone that may not have that same type of enthusiasm for it. Right, absolutely. And I feel like uh, the, the passion for the technology is very easy to come by, but there is that gap between yeah. um, you know, being passionate with the software and, and how do I market this? How yep. can I use this in my business? Yep. And hopefully we'll be able to, to uh, help you go through that transition. So let's get started. Like Cade said, we have eight um, different uh, approaches or tactics that we would recommend to you, as well as eight different challenges. So make notes and, and really push yourselves into new areas and ways of thinking as we go through this presentation today. First and foremost, the, and it, the, what a perfect time of year. It's January 2020, can you believe that? 2020, so we need to have, this is, the, this is the cliche joke that's going around right now, but we need to have a perfect vision, 2020 vision, right? And, and really what we're looking for is you need to establish what that looks like for you. And every single one of us that's, that's watching this webinar today, even for us personally, uh, strategically as a company and our marketing team, we need to really establish what 2020 looks like for us. A great example of what I'm talking about is last January, we had a wellness webinar presenter um, who talked specifically about being a goal digger. It was awesome. She talked about specific ways to set goals and create these visions that we're talking about. Once you establish that, it really enables you to be more precise about why you do certain things in your business or practice, what you're wanting to do. Are you wanting to get more clients? Are you wanting to be more confident in understanding operations of the body? Are you wanting to understand um, you know, more of traditional Chinese medicine concepts or theories? Um, are you wanting to understand maybe more of the scientific components of Zyto technology? Because there's a lot that's built into you know, a simple scan. What seems simple is actually a little bit more complex. And so there, there are different layers that you can go through and establish what you're trying to accomplish in, in the year 2020. Absolutely. I think it's very important to have that vision to give you that sense of direction as you go forward. Totally. As you're establishing your vision, I believe it's very important to uh, determine who your ideal clients are. 
Um, I think a lot of times in a, in a marketing space, it's easy to look at um, your client base as a whole and, and to, to look at kind of your business as, as one grouping rather than segmenting it down and, and trying to establish who's going to be um, your most likely customer mm -hmm. or, or the customer that you're going to see the most um, in your business. Uh, for some people, it's, it's going to be completely different than others, um, you know, and it, it just depends on, on what you're doing. Um, we definitely have a lot of people in the oil space. Their client base is going to be a lot different than a, a chiropractor per se or someone uh, that practices acupuncture. So I think it's very important for you to determine uh, who your client is, uh, what their demographic is, and, and build your plan from there. Yeah, there was a, Patty Barsh was a wellness webinar presenter that we had, I believe about a year and a few months ago. Um, she's on that, that link I was sharing earlier, zato.com forward slash wellness hyphen webinars. She is a great resource into sharing a little bit about how to build a thriving practice. Um, you know, like Cade was mentioning, it's, it's, it's difficult to just single out, oh, this is exactly, you know, we can't just convey to everyone in watching today, this is exactly what you need to do. This is really where you need to put your thinking cap on a little bit and can consider for a moment, who are the type of people that are being attracted to you? And really one of the age old adages, as you may say, is that it's easier to keep and retain a client instead of going out and getting a new one. So once you start bringing and building a solid client base, really striving to hold on to them and make sure that they turn into um, advocates for you, that they're going out and sharing a little bit more about, hey, you know, I just went and saw this Cade kid and he was like super awesome and had a lot of knowledge about, you know, running a Zyto scan and he helped my family out. Once you start creating people and advocates like that, that's a game changer. And it's a lot easier um, said than done, but when you start to really invest your time and energy into those types of people in a, in a business or a practice, it's amazing how fast your, your, your business can grow. Absolutely. The first challenge that we have for you is to create this vision. Um, for 2020, we hope that you will sit down and, and take the time to write your vision out. Yeah. Uh, look in, and see what you want your business to be in 2020. Um, be passionate about it. Uh, use emotion. Uh, I think when you're, when you're going through these visions, it's really important that you are connected emotionally to them. Um, that's going to make your goal feel, feel much more achievable and you'll be much more passionate about it. Um, it it's like anything else. Once you're invested emotionally, uh, it becomes so much easier. Yeah. I had a teacher I remember one time that was saying day-to-day -day operations are point of the plow type of thing. Really, these long-term looking down the, down the path and establishing that vision allows you to be more effective at how you navigate um, your business opportunities. So it's a, it's a very good thing. Take that time. This is challenge number one of eight. So make sure you, you take that time to create your vision. The second thing that we would encourage you to do is, is creating a elevator pitch. A lot of people will look to us, well, how do you explain Zyto technology quickly and effectively? And frankly speaking, it's, it's kind of difficult. Um, without, without forethought, if you get caught off guard, and I'm sure some of you can relate to this, you find yourself kind of stumbling. And, and what we would encourage you is to identify what are some dif uh, differentiating components of Zyto. Uh, you want to keep it simple. Yep. You know, if someone comes up to you and says, you know, hey, what's Zyto? You don't want to start elaborating and going into all these crazy things because it really isn't that. Let's keep it simple. And then once you understand that it needs to be simple and you understand some differentiating components of Zyto as well as yourself, uh, then you need to create that 30 second, that 30 second you know, elevator pitch. And it really needs to be no more than 30 seconds. Yep. And I think you hit on a great point in keeping it simple Yeah. because it's, you know, I think we've both found it and we've seen with others that, uh, you know, the, the amount of technology that Zyto offers is, is massive mm -hmm. and it's very easy to get caught up in, uh, in going on these long spills mm -hmm. that for people that, that don't know the technology and aren't aware of it become quickly, you know, disinterested or, yep. or lost in, in the verbiage. And so I think it's really important, just 30 seconds and, uh, and, and make it happen. Yep. 
Uh, one thing that we teach at Zyto and that's really important is this, as great and as amazing as the technology is, really what allows the technology to take full effect is the quality of you, the practitioner or user. And so you need to also understand, yes, understand how to share what Zyto does, but take that to the next level. How do I use the technology? What differentiates me um, from you know, the guy down the street? And the guy down the street may not have Zyto technology. He should, <laughs> yeah. but uh, he may not. And so, you know, when you're creating that that, that sales pitch, in essence, yeah. uh, and you're going to know a little bit more about creating those sales pitches than I will, but when you're creating that sales pitch, that really needs to be a, a, a key consideration um, when you're going through this process. Right, absolutely. Um, and I, I think uh, from a business standpoint, too, um, you know, the, the Zyto software can be used uh, in so many different ways that it really needs to be personalized to your business. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you're doing something different than anyone else is doing with the software. And you need to, to make sure you convey that to your customers. Mm -hmm. Kate alluded to this earlier, keeping it simple is important. Uh, we decided to put together just a simple explanation of what Zyto technology does. It gathers responses directly from the body to help determine your best wellness options. Boom. Super easy, right? And, and, and keywords that would communicate the, the Zyto scan benefits would be things like it's accurate, it's non-invasive, it's individualized, safe, it's easy. Um, these are all uh, adjectives that would be easy to add into your elevator pitch that enhance uh, the ability of someone to understand what it is that you offer. And once that understanding takes effect, like I said, drinking out of a fire hydrant is a lot harder than taking a sip from a drinking fountain. That's where you want it to be. You don't want to go into expansive knowledge and theoretical stuff. You want to keep it simple. And once they understand that, it's basically, it, now you can start progressing them down that, the pathway of understanding. Absolutely. So while keeping this elevator pitch simple, I think it's really important to make sure that, that you also are personalizing it to your business. Uh, this Zyto technology can be used for so many different avenues. Mm -hmm. um, it can be used for people that are trying to determine what essential oil is going to work best for their uh, client or what supplements they can use. Um, the Zyto software can help identify areas of the body that may need support mm -hmm. um, or areas that are out of balance like we know. Uh, it can help you uh, ask better questions about your client's health and it can help them understand their, uh, their health better. Mm -hmm. um, it really provides a holistic view of the body where we're looking at the functional, the energetic, and the emotional response. Tailoring this elevator pitch to your business and, and your clients is crucial. Uh, between practitioners, I don't think any two elevator pitch should be the same. Yeah. Uh, just because everyone should be doing something unique uh, with their software, and, and everyone has different areas and, and different, uh, you know, uses of the software. Yep. So I think it's really important to keep it simple, but also be specific. Uh, be very clear about what value you add and, yep. and what value uh, Zyto adds to your business. Yeah, yeah, that's totally, that's a key point. Um, you know, and, and, and one of the follow-up questions when we talk about this, you know, in our regional events in 2019, we talked a lot about compliance. That was a very important part about um, these, you know, how to explain Zyto technology. And just as a clarifying point, we want to explain what Zyto doesn't do, right? Zyto doesn't replace what Cade was mentioning. It doesn't replace the expertise that you offer. It's never going to be the one-stop shop where you run a scan and boom, there's your, you know, you have to do this. That's not what Zyto's intended use is. Uh, it also is not a diagnostic device, so it's not going to identify um, you know, disease. It's not going to cure uh, cancer. It's not going to do those. That's not its intended purpose. What it is, is it's a way that will create a path of understanding and allow you as a practitioner or user to ask additional questions that you otherwise wouldn't have considered. You know, when I run a Zyto scan and let's say a particular vertebra comes up out of range, does it mean something, there's an issue with that? Maybe. Uh, it also may be an energetic correlation to another area of the body, but it allows me as a user to therefore uh, move forward asking additional questions that frankly, had I not had a Zyto scan, you know, I, I wouldn't have, have considered. I, and so now it allows 
further explore, exploration to take place. These are some additional uh, descriptions that we put together to help create what we call killer elevator pitches, which everyone should have, right? So we need to talk about it as one of the tools that you use. It's, an example would be it's helped many of my clients, right? That's insinuating that ha the benefit of the technology is that it helps people. Uh, you need to create a separate elevator pitch maybe for referrals, right? So individualized client care, uh, it expands product sales, these types of things. Like uh, when you're talking about different uh, areas of your business, you need to make sure that you're identifying these different elevator pitches so that you can leverage really what it is that um, you're trying to accomplish with that. Absolutely, and I think it's, it's really important to practice this. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's one thing that it's one thing to write it and it's another thing to be able to to tell it off the top of your yeah. head whenever you're asked yep. so I would I would really recommend uh, practicing this great people are people that you're around all the time uh, co-workers I mean we practice this stuff uh, you know here we are on a webinar we have a presentation we have to practice this to make sure that we're ready for for sharing and talking about it this doesn't just come in you know one take, right? We have to make sure that we're, uh, uh, that we've taken the time to be prepared. And then when the time comes to share that elevator pitch, you're just going to be an ultimate rock star to make sure that that user is ready to, to use you as a, as a resource. Definitely. Uh, so as part of this, we want to give you our second challenge, which is to write down and memorize your 30 second elevator pitch. Uh, remember all the tips that we talked about. Keep it simple, uh, keep it specific to your business, and practice it. Um, practice, practice, practice. Do not let it go over 30 seconds. Time yourself, right? If it's 20 seconds, all the better, right? But do not let it go over 30 seconds. The temptation will be, hey, you know, I can squeeze in a few more seconds. You're starting to venture into dangerous territory. <laughs> uh, you need to keep it at 30 seconds or less. So the next part is getting training and networking. So learning the software, Zyto technology is obviously quite advanced and so there is gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. That's normal, don't feel like I just purchased and oh my gosh, like there's so much to learn. Take a, take a breath and take it a step at a time, right? Maybe your vision, a part of your vision for 2020 is gonna be, hey, I need to reach out and toward, you know, the Zyto training department and get further understanding into this. We have great resources here. We have video content, we have a forum, we have uh, resources that are available to you in the training portal once you sign up as a customer. All these things are really important. And then the more important uh, uh, component of this is, is really networking with like-minded practitioners so that uh, you can understand how they use the technology. Absolutely. With networking in mind, we have an incredible tool uh, that we offer here at Zyto, and that's attending one of our Zyto regional events. Uh, we offer these both domestically and internationally. Uh, I believe for the upcoming year, we have 10 planned out yeah. uh, that we should be releasing soon. Uh, the benefit of coming to these is you can get trained face-to-face -face, uh, with, with some of our uh, Zyto employees. Uh, Jeff frequently attends these. Uh, we have a lot of our uh, sales department, some coaches there as well. Uh, there's a ton of support offered at these events. Uh, the biggest benefit of these events is you get to meet local practitioners in your area. Uh, typically in attendance, we have between 100 to 200 attendees, and these are all practitioners that are going to typically be uh, kind of based around your location. Occasionally we get people that will travel to these, um, but a lot of times it's kind of a localized regional uh, type of situation. Mm -hmm. And it really is a great opportunity for you to meet other practitioners, learn what they're doing, hear from them, uh, connect with them. Uh, and, and really it, it can just help grow this Zyto network uh, exponentially. Yeah, we're, we're a global community. So take advantage of it. Like Cade mentioned, we have, we're, we're finalizing the details of the 2020 event schedule. Once we're ready, uh, we will be announcing that and make sure you identify one of these throughout the year that you're gonna go to. That's the challenge, right? Make sure that you attend at least one of these throughout the year. I promise, I promise, I promise, they are well worth your time. Zyto doesn't even charge money for them. They're free to attend. And so make sure you identify one that you'd like to go. Um, oftentimes in the wintertime, we have warm places to go. Yeah. <laughs> and in the summertime, there are, any of them will be enjoyable. We, try, we really work hard to make sure. So take advantage of them while that, um, they're there. 
The next point is we wanna make sure that you create a scenario in your business or practice uh, for successful scanning. So if, if a scan uh, setup is gonna be in a dark corner somewhere, that's not a recipe for success. So you wanna consider how are you presenting your scan, right? The Zyto equipment. And if it's in a nice area that's well lit and it's welcoming and inviting, you're gonna have a greater um, likelihood of, of success with it. So some of the examples that we've seen is that users will put them in a front lobby area so that staff members can actually run it while you're working with, with users in the back. Uh, a front office, Zyto can be as easy as someone just running a scan up front. In fact, some users, have, have trained their, their clients so well that, that when a client walks in, they, they set themselves up and run the scan themselves. So it doesn't have to be complex. Uh, and, and, and enabling others to run that equipment, it really frees up a lot of your time to be more of the practitioner level uh, expert to leverage the reporting of a scan. Absolutely, and I feel like uh, an issue we hear a lot is, is practitioners feel that they don't have the time to uh, to be able to, to spend to do the scan and go over the yep. report with, with yep. each client. And I think it is important to, to try and, and get your staff on board to help you or, or to try and find a way where you can you know, have those scans run and, and you can spend the time um, focusing on, on the health benefits that you can offer and, and finding solutions yeah. for, for your clients. The other option that we see is if, if people like giving more of the one-on-one -on -one consultation type of a thing, it may increase the fee that you charge for that consultation, but having that in more of a private office area where you can run the scan and then walk them through some of the benefits of a Zyto scan, as well as what you're mentioning, which is helping them understand the report uh, for the be you know the wellness benefits of it, um, the other the other idea is that Zyto um, really enables the increased um, sale of products and supplements. Um, so really, in in the Balance Select Elite systems, you can actually adjust your inventory to reflect what you may have in stock versus what you may need to order or drop ship to a user. Um, these are questions you need to ask yourself. These are more business level questions where you're gonna say, you know, do I wanna even stock inventory or is this something that I'm gonna drop ship? A lot of product companies nowadays will actually just allow or enable you to drop ship uh, product to whoever it is anywhere around the world. And so uh, these are the types of questions that um, you need to be considering. And also make sure that you're uh, recommend that you, if you are, um, running the scan with the user, make sure you're charging them for these products up front because it will increase the, the likelihood that someone will um, actually follow through with the recommendations. There's, there's a buy-in, there's an investment that's made. And when a user makes that investment, they're gonna follow through with, with the protocol that you've put forth. That's really important. One question that we typically get from practitioners is, okay, I, I have the Zyto technology, I have clients, um, I have a place to scan, how much do I charge for this? What's gonna be my, my fee structure? And you really have two options with it. Um, the first option is you can set a price for each scan. So you can have the client come in, they take a scan, you charge X amount of money, um, the client can, can come back again and, and do the scan and pay the, pay the fee, uh, and, and you're generating revenue each time the client comes in. Um, the second way is you can include the scan as part of your, your practice, part of your uh, fee for, for what you offer. Um, what that can do is it can increase the value of your current consultation or, or service, mm -hmm. um, and it can also increase your service price because you're offering additional value to your customer. Yep. Um, it's hard to, for us to determine which option is going to be better for you because each business is going to be individual. Um, I would recommend taking a look at, at your uh, business and, and seeing from a business standpoint what's going to help you the most. Uh, what's going to generate you the most revenue and what's going to give your customer the best experience. Yep, yep. Regardless of if you include that in a client, in a client consultation or whatever, you still need to make sure that there's a price associated with a Zyto scan. Um, that way that if you run a promotion, you can actually show the value of, hey, this promotion is a free Zyto scan, but that value needs to be put there. So if it's a $50 value, a $100 value, you can actually show the user that part of the consultation, they're getting a $100 scan value out of that consultation. So it increases the likelihood of, of users seeing the value in what you're, you're offering to them. 
So uh, in, in Zyto technology, you'll actually at the end, you, what you're creating a client record within Zyto. Um, the important thing is, is making sure, I mentioned, I alluded to this a little bit earlier, is making sure that your, reten your retention is up with these, these people. You may only get one shot with them. So making sure that you're providing not only a great service, which we know Zyto uh, enhances that service that you offer, but making sure that you can follow up with them, setting up that follow-up visit is absolutely critical. So it can look like, you know, come back in a week, it can come back in a month, it can come back in two weeks, whatever that looks like. Um, our recommendation is that you have to schedule that with them while they're there with you. Um, if you let them walk out that door without that clear call to action of what the intended um, timeline for them is, the likelihood that they come back just went way down at that point. And so make sure that you're, uh, you're setting that follow-up visit with them. Uh, one thing that I'd recently heard from a practitioner that uh, has been very successful for them is offering a slight discount as customers come back. Nice. Um, and I, I really think that can be a powerful tool if you're struggling to uh, create follow-ups. Maybe yeah. you, uh, you schedule your customer out in you know, several month increments and you give them a 10% discount. You bundling know? or yeah, something. Yeah, bundling, like giving, giving them some incentive to, to, to stay with you. Yep. Um, and, and I really would recommend that you try that if, if this is something that you know, has been a challenge for you. Yep, I love that. So here's the challenge for this section is making sure that you're setting uh, what we call SMART goals. Obviously that's a pretty common term. SMART meaning specific, measurable, achievable, uh, realistic, and timely goals. Um, so make sure, we, we would set a SMART goal for the number of scans that you do each month or year. And then really work hard, be disciplined to try and reach that every, uh, whatever that time frame looks like for you. If it's every month you want to run 300 scans, make sure you're pushing yourself to run those 300, 300 scans. Um, and, and once you accomplish that, reward yourself in some fashion for accomplishing that goal and then move forward and keep on trying to accomplish it. That's really going to make a huge difference in uh, your ability to see growth and opportunity in your, in your business. Our next tool that we have for you is to build referrals. Uh, personally, oh, personally, so yeah, this this is this is one of my favorites yeah. um, and one that I think can help grow your business exponentially. Um, you have a couple different options. So we've got personal referrals. Uh, there's the Zyto referral program, and then service referrals. So when you're when you're looking at your business and and trying to determine how you can generate personal referrals, uh, one thing that I think is really important is to gather testimonials. Uh, you can use testimonials in so many different ways. You can use them as text for a website. You can use them as a video. Uh, you can use them as a, a tool to, to talk about. Um, once you have a, a testimonial, it's a really powerful tool for you. Um, one thing that I think is important when you're, when you're giving these or trying to develop this personal referral program is to make sure you're incentivizing your clients to get you referrals. Um, this program can look different for, for anyone. It could be offering them uh, free services if they recommend new people. It could be offering them um, cash or, or product discounts. Um, there's a, a variety of options, but it's important to make sure there's an incentive there. Um, make sure that you follow up once you receive a referral. Uh, send thank you notes, you know, mm -hmm. small gifts, things like that. Uh, let your customers know that, that you care, that, that they are, are helping you and, and giving you those referrals. Um, one thing I think it, that's easy to forget about also is turn these clients that are getting referred to you into an additional referrals. You know, keep this growing. The, the growth that can happen with a, a good you know, personal referral program is exponential. Oh yeah. Um, you know, you could, you could grow your business to twice <laughs> the size in a year yep. if you do this effectively. Yep. Totally. I, I've seen that uh, when, when sometimes people like the, you know, if I provide a referral to Cade and Cade calls me in a week and says, hey, you know, I've, just so you know, I've reached out to that, that person that you shared their information. Um, that to me shows, wow, Cade shows val finds value in what I offered to him. Uh, and, and the likelihood of me wanting to not only, you know, talk well about him, but uh, increase my likelihood of referral goes way up. So that's, that's a really good point. Um, you know, Zyto, we feel very strongly about referrals. It's largely how we've grown as a business actually, uh, is through word of mouth uh, marketing. Uh, people that talk and, and share a lot about, you know, benefits and value that they find in Zyto. And 
um, that we've created. This is an example of something that you can offer. Our referral program is actually pretty straightforward. We pay out cash um, for sales that come in. Um, so when someone, let's say, Cade refers someone and they end up buying a balance system, that person would uh, qualify for up to $100 on that balance. That's a huge value, right? Um, especially considering that, considering that the system, the balance system itself is 400 bucks. You know, we're paying out 25% on, on the referral. Um, that's, that's pretty substantial. And so, uh, you know, this is an example of how we've decided to create our, our referral program. Um, and we are very passionate about um, making sure that we're, uh, you know, adding value back into our user base so that they're animated and excited about um, talking about Zydo. Going along with this, uh, there's another aspect and that's service referrals. Um, by scanning for services, you can promote other wellness yeah. uh, services that you offer. Uh, I think with Zydo, a lot of times it's easy to segment it, to say, I'm only gonna use my Zydo technology for this aspect of my practice. When really, you can be using your Zydo technology to refer clients to um, the whole variety of services oh, yeah. that you offer. Yep. Um, another thing that I've, I've seen happen is, is uh, working with other practitioners to use your Zydo technology as a way that you can generate referrals for them mm -hmm. um, and, and branch out with them to kind of get a back and forth collaboration. Totally. Um, I think the, you know, the opportunities that a, re a referral program can offer you are, are limitless. Um, and I, I really would recommend that, that you start you know, going on that. I recently uh, uh, met a, a user down in Florida that did exactly what you're talking about, which is that mutual uh, sharing of, of client base. Uh, this user was a chiropractor. Um, they didn't want to necessarily expand their practice beyond that focus, which I totally understand and respect, but there, there was a lot of value that their clients were looking for outside of just chiropractic care. And so um, they, he had partnered with a local acupuncturist as well as I believe a massage therapist. And so what they found was, um, this network started being built and, and in turn, a lot of the, their clients started coming to him for client, uh, chiropractic adjustments and things like that, nutritional recommendations, and his practice started growing a lot faster than it otherwise would have. And so um, that's really, uh, the services part of, of the software is huge. And you can customize that. Uh, we have videos on there. You can actually customize which services you're scanned for in the technology. Make sure you're aware of what's being uh, run within that, that scan. So the challenge that we have is make sure that you create a, a referral program um, for, for your practice or business. Make sure that you're asking your clients uh, who have had success uh, for testimonials. You wanna give them a bonus for people that they refer or some sort of compensation, thank you notes or a follow up, um, and then give them the challenge, right? Give them a challenge of, hey, will you think of a couple of people over b between now and your next visit that would benefit from it and bring in their information? I'd love to reach out to them, right? It could be as simple as that. That's uh, really something that's quite important. The sixth point that we would like to share with you today is the importance of leveraging events. Uh, and there's a variety of type, types of events that Cade will share with uh, you here momentarily. But uh, Zydo uses events uh, to not only build um, new lead gen for us, find new clients um, or prospects uh, to buy, but also to build that community. I mean, Cade, you mentioned the regional events being a huge part. We do a lot of events. Um, we do these webinars, we consider these events. And so uh, making sure that you're identifying what type of events will be beneficial um, is really important. And with this Zydo software, there is a myriad of opportunities available to, oh, yeah. to our customers. Yeah. Um, some of the common events that we've heard is uh, community education classes. Um, with this Zydo software being you know, something that many people haven't heard of, uh, there definitely is interest right now. Um, you know, go to your local rec center, go see what, what they're doing, what classes they have. See if, you know, anyone in your community is looking for someone that can, can offer something new um, to others. Uh, you can host webinars mm -hmm. like we're doing. Um, we love webinars. Webinars give you uh, an opportunity to uh, connect with your clients mm -hmm. uh, remotely. Uh, attend trade shows, go to health fairs. Um, go to lunch and learns at local companies, you know. Oh, that's really good. Um, yeah. practice, practice that 30 second elevator speech and, yeah. and go and let people know what you do. Yep. Um, network. 
Uh, if you're in the, the essential oil space, host an, an oil party. Um, you know, have people come over to your home, have them run a scan and, and see what oils are, are going to put their body in balance. It really is a, it's a powerful tool and it's a tool that you can use to connect to large groups of people. Yep. Uh, you know, setting up your presentation at these events is going to be key. Um, I would bring your Zyto system, obviously the computer, the hand cradle, all the cables that are necessary so that you're ready that a user could sit down and run a scan. So, you know, it could be as basic as, you know, uh, the our most basic scan takes just a couple of minutes to run. And so within a day's worth of work at some of these local events, you could actually run through quite a few um, scans with people that now turn into possibility, opportunities, right, as far as becoming a new client. Um, make sure that you bring Zyto marketing materials with you. On Zyto.com, if you click in the shop in the upper right hand corner, um, we have uh, available to you lots of brochures that we've, we've already put together um, that have a lot of valuable information as far as how to explain um, the, your th 30 second elevator pitch, right? And so if you wanna give or provide a takeaway for someone at an event, those are great resources for you. You can offer the Zyto scan as a free promotional component of the, of the, of the uh, event. And so, may, not that you're deteriorating the value of it, right? You're still gonna have the value as set at a $100 value scan, right? But um, you can promote it as a free wellness scan. That's something that we quite often do. Um, and then I would, after the fact, um, make sure that you're emailing, export that entire list, email those reports to each of those users, you know, a few days later saying, hey, just a reminder, here's your, here's your report. Here's the special offer that I'm, off that I'm providing to you. Uh, if you buy one, get two sessions free or whatever that looks like, right? Um, these are great opportunities or segues into leading them into becoming a full-time client of yours. So going with this, uh we want to challenge you to host your own wellness event, class, party, um, you know, whatever that may be. Host an event. Uh, get out there. Put, put yourself out there. Put your business out there. Run some scans. Uh, generate some leads and, and hopefully, you know, make some new clients. Um, I think the hardest part of this is just doing it. And we want to challenge you to, to go for it. Yep. Um, you know, put the effort in and, and see what happens. Uh, we've had great rewards from doing events here at Zido, And I believe you will too, as a practitioner. Absolutely. Great recommendation. Great recommendation. Um, now, this is something where it's getting into some of my old turf. <laughs> Building your online presence. Uh, this is a... We could probably have... Uh, several webinars on this and still not reach even the, the bait scratching the surface on this. So this is actually a pretty um, widespread topic to cover. We've tried to identify just a handful of tips. Um, that being said, it is a um, something that we would recommend you reaching out to a, a, a local uh, digital marketing team or hiring someone or just familiarize yourself with some of the concepts and, and train yourself into it. And uh, that's kind of what I got into myself was through some of my own business opportunities. And, and once you start learning it for yourself and you, and you grow your business, there's really a lot of opportunity at pretty minimalistic cost. Um, it's a very effective way to, to build your, your, your business. So some, of the, so some of the tips that we talk about, website tips, um, make, make sure you have a website. In today's day and age, people don't, uh, aren't always just driving down the you know main street looking for the local uh, business businesses right make sure that you're available so when they're typing into a search engine um, they're typing in you know chiropractor local chiropractor uh, that you have at least an opportunity uh, of, sh of showing up right um, and there's things that you can do that um, will enhance your the, the ability of your website to perform at different levels uh, make sure that it's mobile friendly. A, a lot of tools, see back at, when I very first started, web design was very complicated. Um, nowadays, there's super easy uh, tools. Um, I don't know if I should plug anything right here, but there's tools like Wix, W-I-X.com, that have like honestly plug and play web design that is like so awesome. Um, and, and these are things that are already optimized for mobile friendliness. Make sure that you're setting up your Google My Business account. Get listed in, in directories. So 
you know, I know that like Yellow Pages is kind of outdated, but they still have online directories, right? Make sure that you have a Facebook page. Make sure that you have these types of things because they all enhance your ability to grow your online presence. And then try to post content regular, regularly. Ah, that's a hard word to say. Yeah. But, um, you know, that's really important. And, and Zido publishes content on a regular basis um, that you can leverage. Take snippets out of it and post links back to Zido.com of information. And So don't feel like you have to be creating these unique, you know, blog articles all the time. Maybe it's just sharing that content that we're publishing or from other sources as well. And then also consider, as you're growing out that website, make sure that you're considering um, SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization, meaning that you can optimize your rankings on these search engines. That's really important. That's more of a long-term goal that you're gonna establish, but it is very important as you initiate this uh, foundational uh, support for, the, for your digital marketing efforts. And one tool that I've noticed that we briefly touched on uh, was creating a Google My Business account. Oh yeah. Um, Google reviews are huge right now. Um, people are always looking at Google to determine where they wanna go. Um, and this goes along with SEO too, but one thing I would recommend is make sure you're trying to generate reviews. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday I went to the dentist and they had an amazing program that I, I hadn't seen before. They said, did you have a positive experience with us today? Uh, fill out a Google review, get a $5 gift card to a local soda, soda place we have. And I thought that well, was- That's because there's sugar in it, so they get- Right, the right, there yeah. we go. So it's a, it's a double. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I thought that was a, a great idea. I actually uh, typically never do reviews, but I thought, oh, it'll take me a couple minutes. I can go get a drink and, and head back to work. And I did it. I took a review. I posted a review. Yeah. Um, I think things like that are, are great. Um, totally. You know, find some way to generate reviews. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but try and get those reviews. Uh, that's going to get people in your door that maybe you haven't met or, or that haven't shown interest in your business just because they're going to Google, you know, chiropractors in my area or, you know, uh, something along those lines. Yeah, I think it's a great point. And um, reviews, not only on Google, but really everywhere, Facebook, social media, making that type of um, reward system is really important. Um, email marketing is very important. In Zyto, when you actually create a new user, there's an opportunity to ask them for their email address. Take advantage of it, take advantage of it, because uh, you know when you're doing follow-up visits or um, you have a newsletter or whatever it is, um, they can even subscribe. There's easy plugins that you can have people subscribing to your, your email campaign list uh, on your website. Um, this is really important because it allows you the ability to communicate more regu regular. Here's that word again. Yeah. On a more regular basis. That's what I'm going to say from now on. On a more regular basis, um, you'll be able to communicate with them. And it's really quite effective at a, you know, instead of buying print ad space or, you know, getting a booth space, these things are, are quite expensive. Email marketing is, is relatively inexpensive. Um, and can be incredibly um, effective as far as your R ROI is concerned. And that really bleeds into a lot of the social media um, efforts that you can have on Facebook, Instagram. I can't even keep up with some of these social medias. Uh, yeah. It, you could do Snapchat. Yeah. I know that's a thing. There's, What's the new one? Uh, people uh, are using Twitter. We've Twitter. got all kinds of, it seems like there's a new social media platform. TikTok. That's yeah. what I'm thinking of. That's, yep. That one's, you don't need to do TikTok. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Facebook, get some of the basics, right? Facebook, yep. Instagram, Twitter, make sure you're there. We have used a lot of YouTube um, to, to, you know, video content is really popular and, um, it engages people on different levels too. So, and I, I feel like one thing with social media that um, I've heard a lot of, and even that I've experienced myself, is it can feel intimidating to create yeah. a post, yep. um, especially if you're not familiar with it. You can look at it, uh, go over your post caption a hundred times. Is this right? Is the is the punctuation right? Is the yeah. hashtags right? And you need to, to just go for it, yeah. you know? Um, generate content, any content is better than no content. Oh yeah. Um, and, and don't be afraid, try and, try and align with your users, but learn and, and grow by just doing it. I oftentimes tell our team here at Zyto, the marketing team here at Zyto, that marketing is the pursuit of perfection. Right? You're never gonna have a perfect email blast. You're never gonna have a perfect social post, um, but you're gonna learn from it. 
And when you post something, learn from it, right? See what you can do better, right? We do a lot of testing of, of verbiage, of, of design elements. Um, and you guys have probably seen a lot of those different elements that we've created or designed differently. And that's really what you're trying to do is you're poking holes around until you, and, and maybe one of them just turns into a, a grand slam, right? You just knock it out of the park. And we hope that, um, but you're never gonna be perfect. It's really about what you're alluding to, Cade, which is just do it, right? Oh, yep. maybe I can't say that. That's a... Uh-oh, trademark. Trademark, right? No. <laughs> uh, but really, you just need to go out there and get it done. Maybe that's what Zynos, just get it done. Get right? it done, there but, we go. But that's what we need to do, make sure that we're doing. So we want to challenge you to try to post to social media two to three times a week. Um, I know that might seem like a lofty goal, but it's a good place to start. Um, just, just do, just go for it, you know? <laughs> just do it. No, just, wait, what was it? I already <laughs> forgot. Just get it done. Get it done. There we go. But, but really, it's, uh, it's something that's crucial um, right now uh, for any business. And, yeah. and just getting in the space is, is going to have great benefits to you. Yep. Our final tip that we have for you is to utilize our Zyto resources. Uh, we have a ton of resources available for our customers that I feel like don't get taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. um, and, and they really can be uh, a great opportunity for, uh, for people. Zyto.com is like the most important URL. If you own Zyto Tech, and really if you don't, you need to, but uh, Zyto.com really has a lot of unique um, benefits to it like you're talking about. And, and not only for users, but we also were teaching this last year at our 2019 uh, regional events. We talked a lot about, you know, if clients have questions, we've designed specific pages on Zyto.com that you can push your clients to. If they want to understand more about how Zyto, that, you know, a scan works, there's a page on Zyto.com that explains how a Zyto scan works so that you don't get hung up having to explain maybe the intricacies of Zyto technology. These are great resources that are already made and put together and they're packaged in a very nice, clean format for you. And it really turns into a, a, a great resource for you. So that's one thing that we would uh, encourage you to take advantage of like Cade was talking about. In addition to not only pages like that, we have the ability to download or buy those marketing materials, those brochures or slicks or pamphlets that we had uh, mentioned or alluded to earlier. Um, we have the forum. Uh, the forum is a huge place. If you go to zyto.com, you log in in the upper right hand corner, you can log in to the forum. The forum is a discussion board where you can pose questions, difficult circumstances. Like let's say you had a consultation that you know, a client asked a question that was maybe a little bit more difficult, you maybe were um, caught off guard by, right? Pose it in the forum and see what types of responses you would get from other users. Um, we do moderate it to an extent from our training department and, and you may get a response from our training department. It's a, it's a way to leverage the community uh, for the greater get good. Uh, and, and that's something that we would encourage you to do. Um, you can register for our events. You can uh, register for these wellness webinars uh, on there. Um, we have a, a great blog. Um, about once a week, there's a new article that's published. Uh, we'd encourage you to read through those. Those are more, more general, maybe, in, in, in the sense that it may not be specific to Zyto um, technology, but uh, they're, they're awesome articles. If you haven't had a chance to read through them, I'd encourage you to do that. They're great to share also as links for your you oh, know, social media yeah. or, uh, totally. or to your webpage, just because we, you know, we touch on, on broad health topics yep. um, that are you know, new and upcoming in the space. Yeah. And uh, we've, we've had a lot of uh, good feedback on yeah. those. Well, it builds credibility, right? If, if people understand or they look at you as someone that has knowledge beyond their own, right? right. It puts you in a position to really uh, lead them through this wellness space. And uh, that's what we hope these blogs can do for you. That's a great point. Thanks for sharing that, Cade. Um, you can join us on social media. We share a lot of these articles on social media. So it can be as simple as when we post a new article on, on our Facebook page, you literally click the share button and it goes over to your own page and boom, you know, now it's available. Uh, and you don't really have to do all that much besides sharing that or liking it, commenting on it, whatever that is. Um, and then you can also get training. We have great resources on our YouTube page um, as well as training.zyto.com is a great place to get started with some great training videos there as well. Um, 
We'll put the links on the, on the screen so that you're aware of what the extensions are to find us on Facebook. On, uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Um, those are three places that we for sure want you to connect with us and, uh, and get information from us on a continual basis. Absolutely. Uh, one thing that's important, uh, well, that I feel is important for, for all of our uh, practitioners and users to do is to learn more about your Zyto product. Yeah. Um, there's so many things that these Zyto products can do that maybe you, you aren't aware of or, or haven't considered before. And a lot of that is just going to come from the training. Yep. Um, you know, whether that be through the website or through YouTube, uh, you know, get in there and learn the information. Um, and see what we have available to you. See what, you know, what opportunities there are in your software. Um, we offer so many different varieties of software also that uh, if, if your current software isn't quite meeting your needs, maybe you want to look at some other options we have and, and possibly upgrade. Uh, we have different software. We have Evox, which is a perception reframing software oh, yeah. that's been hugely popular. Um, we offer remote scanning. So if you want to scan a customer that lives across the country or anywhere globally, anywhere. you can scan them and uh, and you know, go through on the on the internet and and you know have a consultation with them. Um, we've created all of these tools and software to to help your business. Um, and I would really encourage you to to learn about it, to see what we have available, and and see if we offer more services that that could help grow your business. It's a really good it's a really good point um, that you bring up. I think there's a lot of benefit that are included in the subscription that people may not be aware of. So make sure you understand it. Like Zyto Remote, for example, is included as a part of the subscription for the Balance Select Elite and Evox. So if you're not leveraging that as a as a component of your business. Like, learn more about it. We have a page on Zyto.com about Zyto Remote. It's very simple and easy to use. Um, and, and really, these are all types of, of things that, you know, to your point, Cade, you know, when you start hitting these thresholds where you feel like, you know, I've maximized my ability to really continue on using the compass, let's say. Well, let's look into the balance. The balance may enable you to move to the next level. If you're at the top tier of that balance where you're like, really, I would love to have access to the food scan, for example. Well, let's look at the select, right? These are questions that you're gonna to need to start asking yourself to consider. And it may be a little bit of a financial commitment for you, but in the long run, that's really what will enable you to grow your practice you know, to new levels that you know, two years ago you may not have considered. And so making these, these commitments to yourself are really gonna be important to, to, to grow. No, and I definitely agree. And I, I think a lot of times it's it's easy to get caught up in, in the financial aspect of it yeah. at first. But really the, the payout of having um, a well-established business that's using your Zyto software can be massive. Yep. Um, we've seen practitioners that have generated you know, what I, I would consider to be extreme amounts of revenue <laughs> yes. um, from their, from their Zyto yeah. software. It really is a powerful tool. It's crazy to me talking with a lot of you we'll ask questions like how much are you charging for for a scan and there have been a few times where i've gotten a response back and i've had to like catch myself going oh my gosh i it's incredible the amount of revenue that people are generating i don't even know like i have i question myself if i could charge that amount but they've developed themselves they've refined their business practices into such a uh, to such a level that really they're they're moving a lot of um people through. So for our final challenge of the day, uh, we want to challenge you to post a question to the Zyto forum or even a comment, um, you know, two times. Yep. Just just get active on the on the forum. We hit on it earlier, but the forum is a really powerful tool that we feel um, a lot of our users aren't taking advantage of. Um, it's a great opportunity to not only to learn, but to network also. Yep. Um, we want to build a Zyto community, a Zyto, um, you know, network that's strong um, and that, that boosts each other up. And we would really recommend that, that you jump on this forum. Um, if you haven't ever checked it out, just jump on it. I mean, even if you don't post, just, just get on the forum and see what's it, what it's about. Yeah. Um, it really can be a powerful tool for you. One of the cool things that Zyto's done recently is we've created uh, with 
uh, Trinity School of Natural Health, we've created a Zyto practitioner program, which is one of a kind. It's never been done before. We're super excited to have partnered with them. And this class has gone like crazy. People are super excited about it. If you haven't heard about it, we'd encourage you to go to Zyto.com to learn more about it. But what it is, is it's a comprehensive eight-week course that takes you through everything about how to build a successful practice using Zyto technology. Um, it goes through a lot of the history and theories of Zyto technology to build that foundational knowledge uh, and then adds to it with specific concepts of holistic wellness work in harmony with the Zyto balance system uh, and then how to build you know, your practice. A lot of these marketing concepts that we've talked about are available within that program uh, but on a deeper level as well as how to interpret and explain a balance report. There are additional courses that are planned. They're not available right now. This is uh, specifically around the balance system, but it is, we've had people that own the Select Elite and Evox systems that have taken this course and are super impressed and feel that they exit that class with an increase of knowledge they hadn't known before. So if you wanna learn more about it, the link is trinityschool.org forward slash program forward slash ZS. Um, that's really something that I would encourage people to, to look into as well. And for our established uh, practitioners, I think that this Trinity uh, School can be huge for maybe your employees or for your staff. Oh yeah. For people that, that you wanna train in how to use this software to uh, to help you in your practice. Yep. Um, if, if you're finding yourself, you know, bogged down with, with uh, clients or, or even, you know, with interpreting scans, this can be a great course for you to send, uh, you know, an employee or two through. Oh yeah, I agree with that 100%. For January, we have some incredible promotions going on. Um, we always wanna make sure we let people know through these webinars what promotions we're offering uh -huh. and, and what new things we have going on here at Zydo. Uh, for our balance, we're offering two months of free subscription with any new purchase. Uh, for our Select Elite and Evox, we're offering six months free subscription uh, and marketing materials. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome. incredible deal. So if you're in uh, the balance space and have thought about possibly upgrading or looking at the other systems, this would be a great month to do it. Yeah. Um, and, and you can just go onto our website. We have uh, pop-ups available that right when you get on, you'll see we have a new banner that will will advertise this. And uh, I would definitely recommend taking a look at it. We have a great sales team here at Zyto. Um, if you just have questions or you're kind of in the exploratory mode, don't feel like you have to be ready to commit if you call into the sales team. That's not how they operate. Um, they're there to answer questions, to explain things. And so if you're just curious about, you know, what what would upgrading from a select to elite look like? Or what benefits would be there if I added the Evox system into my practice? That's what the, our sales team does really well, is understanding what your needs are and wrapping that technology around that. Um, I, I would, I would highly recommend them that you know oftentimes there's this pressure of like oh i don't want to call into a salesperson that's not that's not how zyto operates that's not how the sales team operates so if you're just like i said if you're just in that exploratory mode it's a great opportunity to further understand what um, technology is out there available to you i've been extremely impressed with our sales team just in my time here they really have the customer's best interest yeah. in mind um, and, and they want to find the best solution for our users. Um, so don't be intimidated by yeah. it. It's, it's, I think the last thing they want is someone to buy the technology and to be disappointed in it. Right. If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit. Right. right. It's not, they're not pushy at all. There's no uh, expectation. Yeah. It, it, they really are, are, are great people. And I, like I said, I've, I've been thoroughly impressed by them. Yeah. They're, they're good. And we, we really appreciate all this. You know, we talk a lot here at Zyto. We're really thankful for great customers, great users. Uh, we pride ourselves on having um, some of the best. You know, uh, when I talk to people all around the world, I am continually impressed with the, the caliber of users that we have. Um, and we like to thank you. 2020 is shaping out to be a really exciting year for us. There's a lot of really exciting opportunities that we have planned. We hope that you take this webinar and a lot of the concepts that we've put together and take it, 
Take it for real. Uh, 2020 could be a game changer for you. Um, these regional events that we have planned, we have some exciting announcements coming forth in the coming months that um, I think will uh, shape out 2020 and moving forward. It'll shape Zido into this, into the the, the you know coming years. Um, I know that we talk a lot about, and especially in this this webinar is probably a little bit difficult sometimes because there is. I know with a lot of our users, there's a little bit of an ethical dilemma of making money on and trying to help people. I know that is at the forefront of a lot of people's minds. Your ultimate goal is making sure that you're helping people down the wellness path. You're making their lives better. That's your prob probably 99% of you feel that way, if not 100% of you feel that way. Um, we always encourage people to understand that money isn't the necessary, doesn't have to be the goal. Money can be the enabler that allows you to accomplish your goal of helping people. And so even though it's, it, it may feel a little bit contradictory or a little bit frictional between those two um, goals, it doesn't have to be. They can be mutually respected. And, and when you view money or resources like that as a way to ultimately accomplish what you're trying to create, that's a huge value. And we've seen a lot of practitioners and users of ours leverage and not let money necessarily take over their intent, but uh, allow them to, to change people's lives. And that's the goal. That's what Zydo's made for. That's what we're built for. And uh, we appreciate that you've been here with us today. It's been a, a super fun time for us putting this together. Um, we encourage you to join us on our next wellness webinar. That's going to be in February uh, on the 5th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's gonna, uh, we're going to be going over combating toxic stress, uh, which we all, all can uh, benefit from. So thank you for your time today. Really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you, hopefully accomplishing a lot of these challenges that we've Absolutely. put forth. And uh, one of those, hopefully, is, is seeing us here locally near you at, a, at an upcoming regional event. Uh, and until next time, we'll chat with you then. See ya. Yeah.